everybody, here's a short review of the camera I purchased from Banggood and a tip how to make it uh, work for free without the cloud storage. So I quickly installed it just uh, uh, next to the door, which is fine with me. And here's a quick setup I have, not the most secure way, but it works for me. Uh, probably I'll make a second video uh, to compare how the cloud storage quality compares to the stream quality and for now I'll just explain you how to make it work for free. Okay, here is uh, the actual footage of the live stream video. Uh, what we can see here, the frame per second is around 11 at the moment, 12, uh, but it jumps, I think the average is 8. Um, the software, my choice for capturing live stream is a Netcom Studio X, as I run a few cameras, um, they all work fine with it, uh, I think you can use a other software, but that's what I use. Okay, so uh, quickly jump to the most interesting part for you, I guess, is uh, how to access the live stream. So if we go to edit video source, uh, custom URL has to be used to a stream type RTSP TCP and the address uh, which contains login and password is uh, here. I will post it in the video description so you can simply copy it. It should work for, I guess, everybody. Uh, login is admin and the password is dg20 16404 okay um, basically the only thing you have to fix for yourself is the IP address of your local network <coughs> okay so uh, briefly uh, the time video is fabulous no problems here uh, like nighttime video goes down in quality uh, I'm not like totally happy with it, but I guess for the most cases it's usable. And the best part, like you don't have to pay for the cloud storage if you run this solution. Uh, the thing I would like to mention quickly is that uh, the cloud storage doesn't give you any settings of how to mo your motion capture works and everything. Just good, gonna uh, you have a lot of motion going uh, in front of your camera. It will just uh, shoot the video, send them over internet, overloading probably the internet. Running Netcom Studio X uh, gives a lot of options. You can adjust uh, you can adjust the motion settings, like uh, you can uh, adjust your like sensitivity, thresholds, um, the other good thing is you can choose the, the zone you would probably not uh, not interested in uh, let's say uh, configure features uh, detection zone edit so here you can choose basically like if a lot of stuff going on in the front here and you're not interested you can just block them, block them out uh, another great thing you have uh, option is um, run a scheduler because like uh, as for myself I only need to run the camera at night time so I can run a scheduler and I set the, uh, the important hours for me so the uh, motion capture will only be running at these particular timings okay guys and as I said uh, the, if I will shoot a second video of comparing the footages from the cloud storage uh, and the one done directly with Netcom Studio X and I hope to see you soon again, bye!